Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jonathan. Um, happy Saturday to everybody. Today is uh, March 18, uh, roughly about 2 o'clock afternoon right now. Um, today I want to quickly show you this product that I just got. Um, it's a tire pump. So if you guys are flat on tires, uh, I got this I got this from a uh, tire inflator um, from the TMU EU website. As you see my car, um, it's been flat for a long time. I left this car parked here for, I don't know, probably for more than a year, two years. So the tire is flat. So, um, as the indicator right now, it's uh, 6.5 PSI inside. So I just had to just hit a button right here and turn it on. So the air goes up. So let me show you the box. Um, right somewhere. It comes with the on the hose. Like that. Anyway, let me pause it right now. Hey, what's up, guys? So, a quick update. I just finished um, doing using the pump. So, it took me about I don't know, roughly about 20 minutes now since I started the first part of the video. Um, let me show you the tire. So, when I first started, this thing only have roughly about six psi, six or seven psi currently it's showing that it has 40 psi on it so 40 psi on this tire uh, what kind of tire is this um, let me give you guys the size of the tire actually well the maximum the maximum psi is 51 psi uh, the size of this tire it is what is that oh right here it's 245 40 17 so it took roughly about 20 minutes and it drained the whole power on this thing so it took me about roughly maybe 30 minutes 30 minutes to one hour to um, from zero bar to all the way to full but right now completely is dead as you see if I hit it it doesn't even show anymore so completely drained about uh, the battery um, and when you water this, it actually comes with all these uh, inflatable different adapters. If you use it for basketball or different balloons and stuff like that. Came in with one of these brown blocks. Um, the model number is CZK3665, manufactured by, I don't know, Yu Yen, uh, Liu Yen application for appliance for auto care. Uh, obviously, it's from China. Um, nothing special about the box um, it is rechargeable digital so it does have a digital indicator on the screen um, it came with this um, charger the USB type it doesn't come with the wall adapter um, so this go into the tire inflator it does have a light indicator um, so you can't really see it but this thing does lights up right here so when you plug it in, it'll show green, uh, red. And then when it fully charged, it'll show green on this part right here. So that's about it. Uh, I will say the material is really cheap. Um, I have this thing set on the one of these break, uh, blocks right here. And it already shows like scratch mark on it. I don't know if you guys see the indication, the scratch mark. When I first started, it was like brand new. Um, obviously, this is the first time use. It does have an LED indicator when you turn it on. Um, and then they also have different, all is for different type of measurement. So you could measure in PSI and different, I don't know, different measurement. And then you could also set the PSI that you want up and down. And then it automatically turn it off, shut off by itself. So I set it as 40 PSI and it actually shut off by 40 PSI. But at the same time, the battery also just drained all the way. So yeah, um, I also noticed that it take, um, it's actually really slow. So if you start it off from like six PSI, all the way, you know, going up, it take forever. But when the, I noticed that it was a lot faster when it's around like 30 psi, 32, 33, and it's a lot more faster to reach 40, 40 psi from the higher number up. If your tire is completely 
uh, deflate it, then it will take longer just to inflate them. Uh, that's what I noticed. And also this machine right now, this inflate machine is extremely hot right now. So the bottom grip is pretty good, right here is pretty good. But anything above from the handle up right here is really hot right now. Um, you can't really feel this but believe me it's, it's hot right now. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you keep holding it. That's why I set it on a brake like that, a rock. Uh, obviously it's showing some scratch marks which uh, the plastic is pretty cheap. Uh, I'm most likely I'll charge this thing up again. Uh, do I recommend buying this? Um, probably not. I wouldn't recommend it because um, it cost me about 20 bucks, 22, 21 I think. Uh, I got it from a TEMU website. Uh, it's just the timing of it. It, it takes forever to inflate this uh, the tire. And it only was only able to inflate one tire. But of course, my tire was completely dead. It was like all the way flat. But if your tire is not flat, you just need like two or three PSI increase. I think this should be fine. You probably could use it maybe four or five, six times. But if you start it off on a tire that is completely flat, you probably could only last for one tire. And that's why, and take forever as well. So yeah, if you only just need to increase like two or three PSI, um, it should be fine, okay? Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comments if you guys have any questions. Um, all right, that's all.